Christmas is now just days away, and if you're like a lot of folks in the country, there's probably at least one or two people you still have not gotten a gift for. So here we go. Big retailers are offering huge discounts on last-minute shopping. Amazon, in fact, is offering its prime customers deliveries in just hours. But at what cost to the workers? DeMarco Morgan went inside one of their fulfillment factories in New York. What did you find? Oh, you know what? I got to tell you this. It was the cleanest warehouse that I've been in. But uh, back to delivering items in one hour, two hours at the latest. Now, that is absolutely incredible. You've waited until the last minute to buy a Christmas gift, right? L Be Listen, honest. here's I have waited till the last minute. And the thing is, being on Prime has spoiled me for needing to go out shop. Because now I know if I'm willing to pay eight bucks, yeah, I think eight it bucks, is. Uh -huh. For one then, hour? then I can get something in one hour. And if I'm not willing to pay eight bucks, but I'm willing to wait two hours and it'll show up. We're talking about a 50 inch screen TV, whatever it takes. Yeah, these guys are delivery folks out there. They're uh, on bike, they're on foot, subway. If they have to bring a TV to you, they'll, of course, they'll uh, get in a car. Uber's out there as well, uh, pretty much helping out. But uh, it's a great idea, a great thing that is also changing the game as well for other retailers and stuff because it's stepping up the competition. Uh, whereas we used to have to wait, what, one day, two days, three days for uh, you know business delivery. Now you can get it in an hour, two oh, hours. Okay, so now here's the thing. Those people who are delivering things. How much are they working, say, on Christmas Eve, which has got to be one of the busiest days for prime delivery? Up until the very last minute, 11.59, and we talked to uh, a young man who was actually out there uh, delivering us, uh, Sylvester Adams, and his family doesn't want him to be doing it. Of course, they want him at home, but he says, look, we still got to eat after Christmas, still got to pay some bills, so he decided to do it, but the good thing about Amazon, they're saying that, you know, all of their workers, they're going to be at home with their families on Christmas Day, so Christmas Day, of course, they're won't be any deliveries, but you can deliver up until the last minute. So they're not complaining too much. And then a lot of people still want to make that extra money. My email inbox is flooded right now with offers from big chain retailers offering incredible discounts. And in fact, I want to share some of the email offers that I've gotten. This is today. PetSmart, Pier One, Gap, Restoration Hardware, West Elm, not only offering Things like 40% off of everything, mm -hmm. plus get your stuff delivered in time for Christmas. Um, but, or I've seen, I've had offers, order it today. Photo, you know, these photo gifts that you get, ornaments and, and coffee mugs and Little things like that. You can order it now and then take your time three months down the road, get it made up, but, but get 50% off of it. The deals are incredible. The promise to deliver it by Christmas. Here's my question. What kind of pressure does that put on your local neighborhood store, your mom and pop shops, your small businesses? Oh, a ton of pressure. They're struggling right now because it's kind of hard to compete with Amazon who can afford to hire these outsourcing uh, delivery companies and have these guys working overnight at 6 in the morning until 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night at the uh, fulfillment center. It is putting a lot of pressure on these smaller businesses because they're practically begging people. They're giving away deals, like you said, 40, 50 percent, 80 percent off of items because they want people to come in and get these items delivered, of course by Christmas, but you just can't beat a one-hour delivery. By the way, DeMarco, remember back in the day, we'd be out on the street on Christmas Eve doing a shopping story, and you'd go to the local mall. I mean, your news director would assign you, hey, go out and see how busy. And the stores would be packed. Swamped with people. Are they still going to be packed this year? If you can get on your phone and say, hey, Amazon, you know, it. I think this Amazon thing, the sign says it uh, better. I think it's for procrastinators. I think people still Yeah, well, love, so is it shopping on Christmas Eve? It is, but they love the hype of being in those stores huh. and running into people and, you know, the big race to get the big TVs and whatever else is on sale. I'm sure you've done it once or twice before. you be uh, back in a day. Maybe on assignment. Uh-huh, on assignment, and, and, yeah. And buy the last-minute mm -hmm. gifts at the same time. Yeah, but I think people will still be out shopping. I mean, it, it's just something uh, about going with your friends, and some people make it a family trip as right. well. But, you know, procrastinators, this is something that I would use yeah, because this, I hate to be out there. This changes the whole kit and caboodle. Mm -hmm. DeMarco, great. Thank you. All right. Good to see you.